you've tuned in to Code Gaming. So as if Nintendo wasn't struggling enough with the Wii U, they have yet another reason to be biting their nails at night. In an interview with Game Informer, Ubisoft CEO Eve Gelamot, I apologize if I just butchered your name, told Game Informer that essentially Ubisoft is done making mature games for the Wii U. What does this mean? Well, they're basing this off of last year's sales of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the Wii U. As we know, there is a new Assassin's Creed that is being made, Assassin's Creed Unity, but the focus for that game is going to be shifted towards PS4, Xbox One, and PC, leaving the Wii U, unfortunately, in the dust. Now, the problem with this is that it's not just Assassin's Creed that is being limited on the Wii U by Ubisoft. It's all their mature games. Gelamot uh, was quoted as saying, What we see is that Nintendo customers don't buy Assassin's Creed. Last year, we sold in very small numbers. So that gives you a pretty good idea of where Nintendo is standing when it comes to the mature audience that they obviously have because there's so many hardcore fans from back in the 80s and 90s. But it is bringing up a big problem with Nintendo of today that really needs to be discussed. Nintendo, I love the hell out of you guys. I love the NES, I love the Super Nintendo, I love the N64, the GameCube, the Wii, and yes, I love the Wii U. I love the Game Boy, the DS, the 3DS, all that good stuff. I love all of it. And like I said, I love the Wii U. For its first party games, it makes it a killer console to have. The problem is, it kind of stops there. Unfortunately, the Wii U has been struggling when it comes to keeping a good library ready for the consumer as soon as they buy the Wii U. There aren't really that many games right now that are gripping the consumer and pulling them in with the exception of first party titles. Now one might say that that's all that's important, but I want you to think back to, uh, to eh, about the mid 90s, when Nintendo was at war with Sega. Let's think about some of the games on the Super Nintendo that really, really got some attention from Nintendo. Not from Nintendo, for Nintendo, my mistake. I'm not talking about games like Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country. We all know those games. Those are the games that really made Nintendo stand out. But what about the third party games? What about games like Mega Man X 1, 2, and 3? What about Super Castlevania 4? What about Pilot Wings? What about Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time? What about Chrono Trigger? You see, all these games are third party games. They were not made by Nintendo, they weren't even sponsored by Nintendo. But, people loved these games. Why? Because they were fantastic games. And where did you have to go to get these games? Nintendo. Only Nintendo. Those third party exclusives that really, really made people bite the bullet and buy a Nintendo console. Why? They wanted those games. The problem is these days there's so many multi-plats. Every game, pretty much ever, comes out on multiple platforms. Even Destiny, made by the people who made Halo, one of my favorite studios, Bungie, is a multi-plat. It's going to be on the PC, Xbox One, and PS4. However, the previous series that they worked on, of course, the Halo series, was Xbox exclusive. But they're not doing that anymore because there's too much money to be made in multi-plats. Because of this, people these days are no longer discussing which console has the better games like they were in the 90s, instead we're discussing which games look better on which console. Which to me, completely distracts from the main idea of gaming. The games should be fun. Here's an example. Let's take a look at a game uh, for the Sega Genesis like, I don't know, Gunstar Heroes. A fantastic game, actually reminiscent of the Mega Man games. Where you pick which stage you want to go to, and you fight from there. It's a side-scrolling action shooter, fantastic game, one of my favorite Genesis games. Then you got a game like Strider, Uh, 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 eventually it was ported to the NES, it sucked ass, but it was originally for the Sega Genesis. What a fantastic game that was. Fantastic game. Now people would buy a Sega Genesis to play those games, because you had to. You couldn't buy a Super Nintendo to play those games, and because of this, people were saying the Sega Genesis is better than the Super Nintendo, because the Genesis has games like that. But people on the Nintendo side would say, well, we have games like Mario and Zelda. We have Simon Belmont. 
And we have games like Chrono Trigger. Those are the kinds of games that the Nintendo fans would cling to when they claim so proudly that their platform was the better choice. These days that doesn't happen, instead we're fighting over which games have the better graphics. Don't get me wrong, people were fighting over it back then too. But the difference is back then it was apples to oranges. Two completely different systems with two completely different architectures. Everything was different. These days, these games are pretty much the same across all the platforms. Now with that said, I don't want to make it sound like this is just a let's shit on Nintendo party because that's not what this is. That's not what this is supposed to be. This is just to discuss what Nintendo is going through and what I think they can do to make it better. Now, in my opinion, a game like Mighty No. 9, which is going to be a multi-plat, I personally think should be a Nintendo exclusive. Now, many people might say that is a stupid idea to ever do that, but look what's happening with Bayonetta 2. That game was originally... I believe it was originally for the Xbox. And then it came out on the PS3. The PS3 version had horrible slowdowns, horrible lagging issues. Then Bayonetta 2 comes out and it's a Wii U exclusive. Some people are saying, Oh, fuck you, Nintendo. You're giving us the middle finger by putting the game that we want to play on only your console. Now I gotta buy a Wii U. However, there's people like me saying, No, this is healthy. This is good. It creates competition. Now Nintendo has something to go off of. Not only that, there's games like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. There's Hyrule Warriors, The Legend of Zelda Wii U, which still we don't know much about yet. He has a bow. That's pretty cool. But then we got games like uh, Captain Toad. I I'm not sure the full name. Captain Toad uh, something, something, something. I'll put the title on the screen. Uh, then we got games like that... Oh my god, the, the Kirby game. Hang on, let me, let, let me look this up really quick. Hang on. It's that Kirby clay game. Um, the, 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 oh my god, what the hell is it called? Why am I drawing a complete blank on this? Um, the, oh my god, this is embarrassing. What is the name? Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. There we go. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. It's a new Kirby game. It's a side-scrolling game, and it looks hella fun. Why? Because it's making use of the gamepad to draw platforms, and to help Kirby get from, from one part of the level to the other, and it's got a great art style because Kirby's made out of clay, just like that new Yoshi game where Yoshi looks like he's made out of string. See, Nintendo does have the ability to be creative. The problem is where they're heading, I don't like. I don't like what they're doing with the with, with what they're doing with the Wii U. They're not giving the Wii U the first party exclusives that it really I'm sorry, the third party exclusives that it really needs to stay alive. That is what kept Nintendo above Sega in the long run at the end of the console wars in the 90s. If if Nintendo wants to reclaim their throne and be the best, then they need to start looking at what is being done with modern games. They need to get these games over to the Wii U. And keep cranking out those first-party exclusives that we love. Oh, and on a personal note, Nintendo, can you do, like, two little things for me? Can you make a Pokemon Snap 2 and a Super Mario Galaxy 3? I'd really like that. <sighs> okay, I'm done. I just spoke for, what, eight minutes now? Jeez. That's all I gotta say on this. Nintendo, please, please stay alive. I don't want to see you die like Sega did. Don't get me wrong, Sega's still alive, but... Let's face it, Sonic has never been the same. Make sure to subscribe to Coed Gaming, because we got some great people on this channel. And until next time, guys, peace.